In this video I show you how to avoid an ugly seam along the z-axis and how you can make it almost invisible with the latest slicer features. For complex models with lots of details and edges it is not difficult to hide a seam on an object and achieve absolutely smooth surfaces. In many slicers such as Cura you even have the option of smart hiding of the seam in such places. However, if the object is round, the seam is exposed and often directly visible, even if you have carefully calibrated your print settings. With the new scarf joint seams, however, such seams can be improved even further until they are almost invisible. First, I show you how to go from a rough seam to a fine seam by calibrating the most important print settings. If the print settings are not optimal, it is usually not only the seam that will look bad. Stringing is one of the first printing errors to show up with incorrect temperatures and retraction settings. In extreme cases, the seam will look like a bumpy scar. The first print setting that you should calibrate for such a seam is the retraction. The retraction defines how much and how quickly the filament is pulled back into the nozzle after extrusion. If the retraction is too low, some of the melted filament escapes between two parts of the object, which leads to stringing. This will also result in too much material being extruded in the seam. If the retraction is set correctly, the filament is retracted far enough that it no longer leaks out uncontrollably and stringing stops appearing. The most important settings that you need to adjust in the slicer are the retraction distance and the retraction speed. The values are different for every 3D printer and filament and need to be calibrated for perfect results. The printing temperature also needs to be set correctly so that the seam can be printed as finely as possible. A temperature tower is best suited for this. The individual levels of the tower are printed at different temperatures. After printing you can see which temperature is best for the filament. In my 3D printing course I show you in detail how to write the appropriate script for the temperature tower and also how to calibrate your 3D printer from start to finish to get perfect results every time. It contains over 60 video lessons that you can access at any time and anywhere. You can find the link to it in the video description. From version 2.0 of the Orca Slicer you can activate scarf joint seams. This feature makes the seams almost invisible. But what is a scarf joint in the first place? In a normal seam the line ends abruptly and always in the same place. This makes it clearly visible. With a scarf joint seam the line does not end abruptly. Instead the beginning and end of the outer line overlap over a certain distance effectively blurring the seam. To prevent overextrusion in this overlapping area, the extrusion is gradually adjusted in several steps. Oh, and if you are wondering how I printed the first layer of those objects with this shimmering pattern, don't miss my next videos. In principle, the scarf joint seam is not a new invention and commonly used in woodworking. However, it is mainly used there to improve stability rather than appearance. You can find the setting for the scarf joint seam under the quality settings in Orca Slicer. As soon as you activate the new feature, new settings will appear with which you can further customize the seam. The default settings for the scarf joint seam are not bad at all and definitely a big improvement on the normal seam. However, we can use the settings to try to make the seam even more unnoticeable. The most important settings for this are the length of the seam and the number of steps. And the longer the scarf joint seam, the more blurred the seam becomes because it is spread over an increasingly large area. Another way to avoid a seam is to set the positioning to random. In most cases, however, this is not a good idea as it creates unslightly blobs or holes on the surface of the object. I also tried this positioning with the scarf joint seam and the result was surprising. There are no blobs or holes, the surface is just rough. I think the scarf joint seam with the optimized settings is much better. I also have a detailed written guide on this topic on my website. In this guide I also show you how to draw the position of the seam using Prusa Slicer. You can also find the link to the article in the video description.